Hey, what's up guys? I'm Shubanka from TechRunes Gadgets and we're well into 2021. But I figured that I haven't made a what's on my phone video in a quite while. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about my current device and all the essential apps that I use daily. Excited? So let's get started. If it is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any updates. The current smartphone that I'm using is the new OnePlus 9 Pro and I absolutely love this phone. It's an 8 plus 128GB model in stellar black and oh my, it's beautiful. The look and feel is simply amazing and the sandstone finish in the back feels so great in the hand. Performance is top notch and the display is as fluid as it gets. The software works without any issues and thanks to Oxygen OS, I always tend to come back to OnePlus devices. The cameras are good too, but I believe the Hasselblad branding was way overhyped and doesn't justify the increase in retail price. And that's the only kink in its armor. But other than that, this phone is simply amazing. Now coming to the home screen, it has remained pretty much the same for the last couple of years with only a few little changes here and there. On the first page, there's only the weather widget that tells me the weather and opens the weather app. And then there's the ubiquitous Google folder that contains all the Google apps that you all use daily. Then there's YouTube Studio, Play Store, all the regular apps. I use Spotify for listening to music and podcasts. The search and discovery feature is amazing and the unique daily mix playlists that are specifically made for the user are really good. It's my go-to music streaming service and I love it. And then there's Spark. It's my favorite email client. I love the smart inbox feature where all the emails are smartly categorized according to their type. Plus, there's a whole lot of power features like full customization, email templates, send later and so much more. Now, if you're wondering about the home screen wallpaper that you saw a while back, well, that's from my favorite wallpaper app called Backdrops. The name of the wallpaper is called Pastel Vibes and you can just search for it from the explore page. Backdrops is a very popular app and it has got a huge collection of stunning wallpapers that you cannot find anywhere else. If you're not using this app already, you definitely should. Moving on to the second page, I have my calendar widget that helps me keep track of my daily events. Then there's reading and media containing Prime Video, Netflix, etc. Then there's the social media apps, Twitter, Instagram, WhatsApp that we all use daily. Then there's some tools apps like calculator, camera connect and that sort of stuff. Then there are the finance apps like banking, stocks, etc. And then there's the essential folder. This is the folder I want to focus on. First, I have Pocket. It's my go-to app for saving articles, news, stories, etc. so that you can read them later. You can also save your articles using custom tags that you can search for easily. Plus, you can also listen to your saved articles if you like. This is a very useful app and I've been using it for a long time. Next up, NPass Password Manager. Nowadays, we have so many accounts, be it social media, shopping sites or banking. Remembering all the passwords can be a really hectic task. That's where this app comes in. It will remember all the details for you and even help you create strong and unique passwords. It is totally secure and it syncs across all your devices. I highly recommend it. Now comes my favorite money managing app, Money Lover. It's the best expense tracker and budget planner app that I've ever come across, period. You can create your own wallets, add expenses, create budgets, gain insights from visualized data, view detailed reports and so much more. I believe it's very important to control your finances very early on in order to improve your financial health in the future. And this app will help you do just that. The last app that I want to talk about is called Canva. I've mentioned this amazing app quite a few times in my previous videos. For those of you who don't know, it's an all-in-one graphic designing app that's an absolute delight to use. You can literally design anything using this app, from Instagram stories to company logos. The list is basically endless. I use this service for designing my YouTube thumbnails and it is an important part of my workflow. So guys, these were some of the most important apps that I use daily. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button below, do share this video with your friends and family and do subscribe to my channel. Until then, I'll see you again in my next video. Thanks for watching.